Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the new moon which is coming up tomorrow in the zodiac sign of Gemini and it is opening doors to a completely new energy. So until now you may recognize as we were talking in the previous video a bit heavier energy and the Mercury is still in retrograde until the June 3rd and we have a beautiful shift that is happening right now and is opening new doors with this new moon. So firstly it is coming up tomorrow in the zodiac sign of Gemini which is the sign of duality which is reminding us of the great balance between masculine and feminine energy or between our inner self and outer self or the the physical self the physical experience of your true self its element is air which is reminding us of something light and that's what kind of energy is coming with this new moon so it will be lifting us up a little bit to feel a bit lighter so it's truly a great time to think about your goals to think about your plans your future because it's time to to uplift yourself it's time to uplift your spirit and finally start walking towards the destination where you see yourself fulfilled so you can start you know fulfilling your life so Gemini is also an adventurist so it is reminding us of the adventure we need to take in our lives to make it more fun to make it more interesting so think about it five things you must know about this new moon well the first one is that it will most definitely bring us some new great insights and ideas because of the gemini a ruling planet mercury which is representing the communication, clarity, physical and mental agility and doingness. It will bring some new vibration when it comes to ideas and insights about our lives, like maybe some insights. How could you change certain aspects of your life? Maybe some ideas of what you want to do with your life or what you want to do in that next chapter of your life. Because new moon is always, you know, representing a new chapter. Like you're opening a book on a new page and there's a whole new story to experience. And that's, that's your story, the upcoming story of your life. So it's time to start walking that new story and the doors are opening. So maybe you will notice a shift from stagnation to flow, from lack to abundance, from confusion to clarity or from pain to peace. This is your turning point right now. And on that intuitive level, we may already sense that those heavier energies are slowly releasing. And there's actually a beautiful connection because the new moon is coming on May 30 and the Mercury retrograde is ending on June third so we have three three which is master number called master teacher so in this first three days from the 30th of of may to the third of june this is a time where we can reflect a little bit what we've learned during that process of mercury retrograde what were our triggers what were um, maybe the darkest aspects of our lives we've experienced what were the lower emotional states we went through, how we were responding to certain life situations and how we were um, reacting towards them, how we were treating ourselves at those um, different times of the days. And become aware of where you fall into unconscious states, like um, unconscious emotional reactions and reflect on that. Could you be more conscious at those moments? Could you change something? Could you be, become more aware of how to be maybe kinder, how to be more loving or what are the emotional triggers you could work on? or maybe to apply some new methods to treat certain moments differently. Think about that. This is a beautiful time to release that energy which is still holding you to the past and is actually blocking a lot of your transformation. 
Then the second thing, a major clarity over your life's purpose and mission will take place in your life if you will in tune with the present energy, with the energy of this new moon. So, as I said before, it is opening doors to a completely new energy. So, major clarity because of the vibration of Gemini may take place when it comes to your life's mission or your life's purpose. What kind of purpose you want to create out of the awareness over your life's mission. So, you may sense a certain um, attraction towards something what you want to do. And to make a purpose out of it means to find something you love to do with what you can provide certain value to the world and with what you can maybe find a way to make income with that. So this is how you can create purpose out of your life's mission. So meditation may help you right now to in tune yourself more with this energy and to find is there if there is something which is actually inspiring you right now to do or something which is calling you to your mission. Maybe you can find truly uh, yourself truly inspired by a certain thing which were calling you also in the past but maybe you were ignoring it. Maybe as a little kid you were truly inspired to do that and you said when I will be older I will be doing that but then life happened and you've started doing different things and you forgot about that. But right now it may call you once again. It may knock on the doors of your conscious mind and say, hey, let's do something with that. So pay attention to it. The third thing you must know about this new moon is that connection with your higher self will be much stronger. So the concept of the higher self is that there is a wiser you, more intelligent you, and you're always connected with that aspect of yourself. But because of your ego, because of your distractions, because everything you're doing in your life, you may lose a sense of connection with your higher self. But during this time, the energy is much stronger to become aware of your higher self and to download some inspiration, some ideas, as I said before, some insight, insights to create greater clarity over your life, to see how your life is going right now and if you're truly doing what you're passionate the most and if you could do more of what you're passionate the most so you could get more into that flow state. Remember at the beginning I mentioned that the element of the Gemini is air and the air is flowing, right? It is light. And it's time to remind yourself to connect more often to the flow state. And if you're wondering how to connect to the flow state, well, do more things you love to do. That's what will connect you to the flow state because when we do things we love to do, we're not thinking about doing that. We're doing that because we love to do that. And the whole magic happens when we fall in love with the process. Remember the quote that I share here and there with you. If you will, fl- <clears throat> if you will fall in love with the, fl- with the path of life, you will be in love forever because life is a journey. And that's truly a beautiful reminder right now. The fourth thing you must know about this new moon is that you may experience an increased intuition. This is truly amazing because intuition is like our divine compass, which is on that intuitive level showing us the direction in which we could go in our lives. Sometimes our intuition may tell us what to do, sometimes our intuition may tell us what not to do, what to avoid or what to try. And It's important to understand when it comes to, you know, getting into the new chapter of our lives. It's important to in tune ourselves with intuition because life is all about change. It's all about evolution. It's all about growth. It's all about expansion. And when we feel stuck, 
we feel stuck because we've stopped following our intuition, we've stopped following that internal guidance. So we've started doing only things which provides us um, feelings of being safe, being secure, which is nothing wrong with that. But if we're not adventurous in our lives, we'll, we'll get more and more and more into that state of feeling stuck. So it's time to become, or it's time to take your body to an adventure. So think about starting new things. Think about developing new hobbies. Think about uh, writing new goals or think about becoming more clear on over your future, which we'll be talking later about it, to see if what you're doing right now is actually supporting that vision of your future. If what you're doing right now is actually supportive to who you want to become. And your intuition will start guiding you. So there's actually a shamanic practice, an ancient shamanic practice, which can teach us to learn to, to, to listen to our intuition. And it works like that. You close your eyes, you ground yourself with a few deep breaths, and then you say to your body, say yes. You say out loud to your body, say yes. And then just become aware in which areas of your body you may sense uh, a different energy, like some tingling in your fingers or some awakening of the higher energy in your chest area or maybe around your neck or inside your head. Your body will respond when you will say to your body, say yes, your body will respond at certain areas of your body. And that's how you can know when your intuition say yes to you. And then if you ask your body, say no, become aware at what parts of your body the body will respond. And you will again experience a certain tingling sensation somewhere. You will experience maybe a warm feeling or a cold feeling. Maybe your heart will start beating faster. Become aware of how your body is responding to yes and to no. And once you will be able to fully recognize what is yes and what is no from your body, you will be able to ask your intuition for anything you choose. It's a practice. You, can, you will develop it through time. So become more aware of it. And the fifth thing you must know about this new moon is also bringing us a great cleansing energy, which is helping us to release the heaviness and toxicity, which means that it can help us to do that emotional cleansing, to let go of emotional blocks, the shadow work. I've made a video how to raise your vibration through the shadow work. And in that video, I've explained how to do that, how to go deeper in those darker aspects of ourselves and accept them and let go of them, release that um, lower energy, that dense energy, so we can feel lighter, so we can go with that uh, flow of air, with that flow of Gemini, and become aware of maybe the bad habits or beliefs, the negative beliefs or the limited beliefs which are still holding you down, so you're not actually thriving or you're not actually the greatest version of yourself. It's time to fully recognize the toxicity which you're still repeating because right now is a beautiful time to cleanse it, you know, as that heavier energy slowly disappearing, slowly we are getting more into that flow state. It's truly important to recognize what we've learned during those days so we stop repeating what is not serving us anymore because the truth is the energy is here to use it nothing will happen by itself so if you want to quit certain negative habits you only you only can quit them by changing them for new ones what it means you firstly recognize become aware what you're doing and then you change it for something healthier, for something better, for something lighter, for something more beneficial. And changing habits 
is a process. You know, usually we need at least 30 to 60 days to reprogram ourselves for the new habits, which means that if you become aware of what you don't want to do anymore, let's say we start with one habit, which can be maybe you're smoking, maybe you're drinking too much alcohol, maybe you're spending too much time on your phone and social media, whatever it is. And you may say, well, I want to change that. And Maybe you've heard something inspired and you've started applying a new method and after a few days you've lost inspiration and you get back to your old self. Well, it's actually a familiar pattern which most people are repeating. But if you take this new approach, which is you recognize what you're doing, you become aware of it and you, you know that you don't want to be that kind of a person anymore. You will recognize that that habit was a part of your identity. This is who you were. And if you want to become a new self, recognize what you want to do in your life without that old habit. What will be the new habit? Rather than smoking, I will do a breath workout. I will meditate. Every time when I feel triggered to smoke, I will do a meditation, for example. You know, change it for something something which may be similar, but much healthier. And do it for 30 days. Then do it for 40 days. Do it for 50 days. Do it for 60 days. Stay consistent because you love yourself enough to do that. The only reason you want to do that is because you love yourself so much that you want to do that. And you will see that the whole process will become much, much easier. Same is with beliefs. You know, beliefs are created by consistently repeated thoughts. And the energy right now is so supportive to cleanse your limited beliefs. To change your beliefs, you can only change them by applying new beliefs, reading new books, rereading new books or new information which can inspire you, uplift you. That's why you may recognize that I'm often repeating certain information in my videos because when we're repeating something, we are actually installing it into our subconscious mind and suddenly we can remember it. Once we can remember something, we will learn to explain it, right? And once we are able to explain something, we fully understand it. And once we fully understand something, we are able to apply it. And once we apply it, we gain experiences. And once we gain experiences, we will gain feedback. And we will see if that what we understand actually works if we apply it. And then we try. And that's how we become more adventurists. Adventurous with our lives. So practice it, work on that. Maybe when it comes to your diet, you know, removing toxicity means to start eating lighter food or or more nutritious food, whatever your body feels called to do. Be aware of that. And maybe a little bit when it comes to our daily routines, you know, yesterday in the previous video, we've been talking about how you can improve your happiness for 40% just by shifting your daily routines, by becoming more conscious of the choices you're making every single day. And that's truly powerful. So this new moon is reminding us of that lighter energy of that light which is coming from within you. And to make that light stronger, you need to raise yourself beyond your limitations, beyond the darkness, beyond your fears, beyond the senses of separation. Remember, Gemini is a sign of duality, which is not a bad thing. You know, duality is beautiful because because of the duality, we can experience life. Because of duality, we experience manifestations. Because of duality, we experience sweetness of life. And in order to to fully balance it, we firstly need to be in balance with ourselves. We need to recognize, are we doing what we're saying that we'll do? Are we following our passions? Are we following our goals? Are we honest with ourselves? Are we honest with others? Are we kind to ourselves as much as we want to be kind to others? And so on. So it's all about self-awareness. And this is what this new moon is bringing a lot to us. So my friends, 
this is it for today. Have a beautiful celebration of the upcoming new moon. I love you all. I'm sending you all lots of love, blessings and power. Have a beautiful day. Until next time, one love.